It's time to spill the beans. Do you have a guilty pleasure baby name? I know you do. It is a name that you absolutely love, but are just not quite brave enough to use. So it goes in your kind of like little list that won't see the light of day. And there are so many. I polled 7,000 mums and name nerds to see what are the top names that we're loving. There are two such standouts. I will announce those at the end because those are the two biggest guilty pleasure names in the whole of the UK or globally, actually, because it's a global community in the world. Let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the best sponsor for today's video and a discount code for you which is SJ10 and you get 10% off Mockies. Mockies are not socks, they are not shoes, they are Mockies. These are handmade in Sweden. So you know how babies always kick off their socks and Mockies actually have an invisible support strap and this is definitely why I got them so when they're in the buggy and they're pulling their socks up all the time and they're just wiggling out of them because they start from really really young and also what's amazing about them is that they are safe enough for when babies want to put them in their mouth. There is no toxin or anything in the sole, so they're super safe. They're podiatrist approved, which means that they are approved by podiatrists to make sure that your children's feet grow as they are supposed to. So it's literally proven to be the closest it can be to being barefoot in how good it is for your feet and your growth, which is so incredible. I'm obsessed with them. I've got lots and lots of different designs for the kids. They've got plain black ones as well for the older boys. As I said, you get 10% off at the moment. I think in this season, these will see you right the way through till next March and then wearing them at home is really, really lovely. And the designs are just so cute. There's loads of Christmas specials as well. So I'm thrilled to be working with Mockies. You can ask me any more questions about them below and I'll put my discount code SJ10 here on screen. Oh, and they're machine washable. They're machine washable, which is what we need. So let's get on to our guilty pleasure name. So I have them all your replies on my Instagram and I'm just gonna go super, super fast through them. Wolfric, that is a super cool name, comes up a lot, Wolf and Fox along this list. Freddy for a girl, definitely go for that. That is really, really a brave choice, I know, but really, really cool one. Keridwen, one of my favorite names as well. Aurora, that's a really popularly rising name, so I would really think it is someone that you could use now. Lavender, I've seen this a couple of times, I totally agree with that one. Sloan, that's a really interesting one. It is a name crush of mine as well. Walter, and right next to it, Ernest as well. So that's really interesting. Two little old man names. I think Ernie and Walt, so cute. They are definitely coming back into style. Now giving away one of the top ones, it is the name Atlas for a boy. So many of you are not brave enough to use Atlas and it really is getting much more popular. It's really high up in the charts. I think it's really wearable. I know that it's unusual to use like a word name as a first name and it's definitely one that we see this generational divide with, whereas older people are like, that's not a name. Um, but modern parents are absolutely loving. Matisse for a girl, that's lovely. Montego for a boy, I like. Luna Lea. Luna Lea. Oh, that's lovely, Chelsea. Is she, is she called Chelsea? Luna Lea. I've never heard that one. Luna Lea. I reckon loads of you are going to love that one. Ashley was brave and went with Zolani. Congrats. That's a trendy one. Peach. I've seen that a lot on here as well. Athenaise. 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 <laughs> and Cassian. I really like them. I do struggle with Athenaise, so maybe it is. Maybe it's Athenaise. I don't know, sorry. Um, Greer, that's a really unusual name. I think it's Irish. I do see it on a lot of lists. Clover, agree. One of my guilty pleasure ones. Dove, agree. Prairie, agree. <laughs> Holiday for a baby girl. Oh my gosh, I so think this is gorgeous for a Christmas baby. Pop it in the middle name, it is so dead trendy. Cornelia, says Bailey, that's an unusual one. Delilah, that is, you know, it is really, really popular these days, but I know what you mean, some people would still think that it's a little bit out there. Zeppelin, that's so cool, but spelt with, a, with an X. What are we reckoning on that? But I want your comments below. Valentina, Regina, Elway. Elway, that's pretty actually. Rex, yeah, I know, I like it as well, but I know what you mean. I definitely couldn't have got that past my traditional husband. Clementine, I'm surprised by that one. Olive, I'm surprised by that one. That's in the top 100. Bloom, I'm seeing Bloom so much in middle spots. My daughter's middle name is Blossom, but I'm seeing Bloom so much more, maybe because it's one syllable, so it really balances out others. Haven, I agree, I love it as well. Athena, Eugenia. What do we reckon? I think Eugenia is going to be coming back soon. Winslow, but only because it can't be pronounced correctly in her language, which is a shame. Zania, Cordelia, Philomena. That would be that would be a divisive one, I think. Boyd, 
that's an unusual one, but I do like it actually, hearing it. I prefer it to Lloyd. Sorry, any Lloyd out there, but I think Boyd just sounds quite cool. Boise, you get called. <laughs> Navy, I see that one a lot. Elmer, a vintage gem. Towns, I really think that's cool. Geraldine, that's a, a one, a rare, it's one of those like um, ugly vintage ones that a lot of us have crushes on. Elvis, that's come up a couple of times. I'm hearing it a little bit more. Effie, hearing it a little bit more is a short one for Euphemia. Digby, Jacaranda, Jacaranda, Jacaranda. Hmm, yeah, I don't mind it. Fate for a boy. This one I saw and I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely love it. Rebel, that's, that's not even the same person. <laughs> you two should be naming buddies. Forest, my middle name. <laughs> Just add it in the middle. Augustine, that's lovely. Cleo, it's actually one of the rare rises for the year lower down the charts when I did that research. Nemo, <laughs> it is a name. I mean, you could go with it, but they would get the Finding Nemo jokes the whole time, that's what she's saying. Because she also, the same woman likes Ariel, but for a boy. So she's got the Disney vibe going. There's loads of rare Disney names on my channel if you look back on it. Journey, um, that's a really lovely name actually. It's a divisive word though. A lot of people are just like, oh, don't talk to me about going on a journey. Thule, that's lovely. Vida, Westerly, Solstice, this is my guilty pleasure name. I'm actually going to add it into the middle name for my daughter, I think, because she's born on winter solstice, and I just can't believe I didn't go with it. Candence, that's nice. Robinson, uh, yeah, I really like Robinson as well. It does make me think of the squash, though. Basil for a boy, it was on my name crush list. And um, Perpetua for a girl, yes, I like your style. Andromeda, Theodora, nicknamed Teddy, that is one of our favourites over at the community. Thisby, I've seen that before and I really like it as well. It takes a while to get used to it. Emrys, that's from Betty and Pip, she sounds cool with Emrys. Wolfgang and Solve as a pair, so really, really strong names. Minnie, yep, I get that. Apollo and Sybil, I'm such a fan of Sybil. I'm trying to like go door to door with that one basically <laughs> to bring it back, I think it's so trendy. Oliven, that is. Mm, lush and array that is lush as well you've got some good names there sarah rafe i've seen that a few times on this list barnaby that's my son's middle name because my son my son my husband was like not sure about it aslan um was suggested by her husband go you um i know another friend of mine who had that as her boy name and she did had a girl so a lot of people maybe really like it. Ambrose, just means lion. Ambrose, Buster, Azure, which is the blue, which I love. Emerald, which is the green, same, not to the same people. Ezra, surprise, that's really, really popular. Skipper, I did actually write my whole Barbie Core baby name list. Let me know if you still want to see it because I obviously had Skipper on there. Um, I just didn't get around to putting it out. Chapel, that's so dead trendy. Vivian, I really liked Vivian as well. Quinny, I really like that as well. Jedi for a boy, and then one of our top ones for girls, which is Peach. There's a lot of Peaches all over this name list. Um, a lot of you are really, really loving it, but aren't quite brave enough to use it. So if you've gone like, oh, should I or shouldn't I? People absolutely do love it. You might just not hear it so often. Bo for a boy, Bertie for a girl, but she needs the long name for it. We had this discussion a couple of weeks ago and there was loads of ideas in the comment section. I'll have to try and find it for you. Cornelius, Birdie, I do love Birdie as well. And Blythe, she's got the same, but she lives near a town called Blythe. It's so fresh, I when it puts you off. And Ziggy ended up being her brave middle name. Yes. Are you a brave middle namer? Let me know your children's brave middle names below. I would be obsessed with that. Maybe I should do that list. Should I do that next? Brave middle names that you've actually used. Yes, please let me know um, if you want that list. Don't put them all below because that'll be a spoiler alert. Um, another Atlas, Murphy, um, is a really lovely name. Murphy for a girl. What do we think? She's pregnant, so she wants you to let her know. But always kind comments on this channel. <laughs> Winter, I've seen this a couple of times that people are loving it. Dash. A word name, Coco, yeah, these are sort of getting to that pet name vibe that people get worried about. Demelza, that's a trendy one. Two people have said Demelza back to back. Are you two friends, Elizabeth and Christina? Literally back to back. Primrose, I love it, but I don't think I could use it. Oh yeah, definitely is a middle spot. Another Eugenia, Cassidy, Evander, Zoshi, spelt like that, that is dead trendy. Hero is coming up and Sydney and a couple of people have said about Sydney that they don't like the nickname Sid so I was thinking you could maybe go Indy 
anyone else got any good nicknames for Sydney? Salem, I've seen that coming up a lot. Peregrine, Detona or Montana, Marigold, I love. Phineas, Elliot, Rupert, that's from a German follower follower hello that's from somebody in our community from germany so i understand those things might be a little bit different january yeah a bit like holiday it gets a bit difficult to use boaz cleopatra and sistine oh that's cool wilder i mean really that's quite common now um oh and somebody used genevieve and listening to the podcast gave me the confidence to use it thank you we do talk about genevieve a lot over there solas meaning light in irish lovely thanks for sharing that one teddy coa remy camden i know camden waylon i see that on so many lists Waylon. I'm not hugely fan of it, but I don't know why. Maybe it's with Wayne to me. Uh, Waylon, Ridian, Clay, Ty, Ryder, Baxter, Evren, that's lovely, and Mikhail, that's lovely, Ireland, Ireland, am I saying that right? Musa, Ember, Linnea, Linnea is gorgeous, it would get mispronounced, and then Darling, yes, 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 ting, 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 I love the name Darling so much, and again, would definitely not be brave enough to use it, but I love it, Amaryllis, that's lovely, somebody's put Marmalade, she's got a laughing face, I don't know if she's taking the mic or she just loves it and laughs at herself about it. Um, Clifford, not the same person. Lennox, I mean, I think that one's really going to get more mainstream soon. Ranger, that's cool. Oseus for a boy and a Lara for a girl. I mean, those are beautiful names. Mimi or Minnie, I prefer Mimi mainly because we always called my sister Auntie Mimi because I couldn't say Naomi when I was little. I actually really, really love it. Marceline Reverie. I saw Reverie on a lot of your guilty pleasure name girl lists. Artemis, Ottilie, Temperance and Tempest. Which is your favourite out of those? Blossom, go for it. If you can get it through somebody, I couldn't get my husband on board. Um, Ursula, nicknamed Zuzi, but she's worried that everyone would think of the Disney villain. I know an Ursula who is so dead trendy and cool and the opposite. So you just don't get the same association. It means little bear, but I do know what you mean, especially with the new remake. Larson, that's cool. Hermione, <laughs> that's hard. I used to, when I read it, I used to say Hermione in my head. When I watched the movie, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, yeah, that's so dead cool, actually. I would be obsessed if I knew a baby called Shirley. Laszlo, Evanthea, 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 like, sorry. <laughs> Ledger, so that's like a, um, occupation name. Ledger was somebody who used to write things down. Pegasus, that's cool. <laughs> Ebenezer, it is a hard one because of Scrooge, but it's such a trendy name. Story, yes. Caspian, yes. And then Tiger Lily. So last time I did this video, a few years ago now, Tiger Lily was the number one. It's not the number one anymore. That's the only person who's mentioned it. Somebody said actually using Danger as a middle name. Does that mean she's actually using Danger as a middle name? Or it would be her guilty pleasure to actually use Danger as a middle name? Let me know, Rowan. Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> I understand these themes, guys. Farouk and Barak, great names. Amor, as a middle name, like Tobias Amor. Yes, but it does sound like Tobias some more. Tobias Amor. <laughs> Maybe not with Tobias. So I've got to through most of them. I'm sorry, I can't do all of them. But the top ones for girls, there was two. It was Calliope, came up time and time again, which means beautiful voice. And the number one by far from everyone was Honey. Honey for a girl is so so popular but no one is brave enough to use it so if you've got it on your list put it to the top because you will have a rare gem that everyone else loves i hope you really enjoyed this guilty pleasure name list i did it was so much fun do not forget to use sj10 for 10 percent off mockies you need them this winter they make great gifts for new mums and mums to be as well because they go from teeny tiny um, and they're such a practical but really stylish gift so thank you to them for giving us the discount code. I will leave them on screen and below. And as always, helping out a sponsor helps me so much as well to keep making videos for free. Uh, I will see you next week on Baby Name Monday. Bye guys.